Hey everybody, it's Kyra and I'm here today with Monica McDonald, our leading lady, also known as Monica the Mortgage Lady. And we are doing an interview today to talk about empowering women. So Monica, how did you end up in the career that you're in? So I worked at the bank and I started as a teller and I worked up to the financial services. My lawyer actually, who was a client, walked in one day and he said, have you ever thought about brokering? I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> and he, so he gave me a, a contact to a power woman in the industry and her and I just absolutely hit it off. And I quit 10 days later and I never looked back, but I had zero backup plan. <laughs> this was pure risk. Actually, at one point I was dating um, a, a financial planner that worked at the bank and we moved on with our relationship. He proposed, you know, in front of the parents. We built a home and he had an affair oh, no. with someone he was training who knew he was engaged and he um, left me for another woman and he had the nerve to put his hand on my shoulder and say, you have so much potential, but you just don't use it and I'm looking for somebody more successful than you. I thought I was successful at that point in time. So that really stuck with me. That just went in my heart. You know, I thought I'm a good person, I have a good job. And here's this guy who was actually very abusive, but we won't even get into that, telling me, you know, I'm not good enough. So when I walked away, I just built myself up again, got my own place. And it was shortly after that is uh, when my lawyer came in and mentioned the broker. And I just thought, you know what, maybe there is something else out there. So maybe I should be thanking him. <laughs> but that stuck in my mind and I thought, you know, I'm going to take a chance and I'm going to go with my gut here. And at the end of the day, ultimately, I love serving the clients and helping my clients. So um, that's sort of how it all started. Wow. Reasons why I wanted to leave the bank. There was the pay. And there was a great deal of actual um, sexual harassment that I noticed um, within various branches. Um, so it was very hard, I personally found, to work myself up inside the, 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 the branch. Do you think an old boys club exists? And if so, how do you break into that? Yes. It's still there, yeah. It, I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. So how do women break into that? I think the, the, the strength. They've got to have the knowledge. They've got to be prepared. They have to have the strength, the knowledge, the numbers behind it, and they have to be ready to face it. They have to be prepared when they walk in the room to have the right comments that, are, that may come at them. So I think that it's is there it's going to be there until more women can break into it so what have you sacrificed personally while you've been building your career so i think i mentioned at the beginning i've been sacrificing you know taking vacation and taking time to myself um so i would definitely say try to avoid that because you know you'll burn out and i've unfortunately sacrificed myself like vacation time, going for the manicure, pedicure. It just, uh, it's, it's, I'm not fitting it into my schedule right now, so I feel like I am sacrificing that. And I need to get that into my schedule. <laughs> so what's something that people don't know about you that would surprise them? I actually joined karate two years ago, and I am one belt away from black belt. And what is your magical success formula? So the magical formula is get up and, you know, just get at it and just believe in everything you do and do everything honestly, professionally. And when you go to bed at night, just, and this is how I started from day one, I have to lay my head down on the pillow and know that I did everything honestly for my clients. Think back 10 years ago. Is this where you envisioned you would be? I envisioned close to it, but it's far surpassed my wildest dreams. <laughs> yeah. What advice would you give the next generation of young women? 
I would definitely say don't listen to anyone that says you can't do it. Believe in yourself and go for it. What's your definition of success? My definition of success is, at the end of the day, pure happiness. You have to wake up and be happy in your skin. And it's, it's, not, it's not the paycheck, it's the happiness. It's like, where are you happy with your life? Like, where it's come to. And just the gratefulness, the blessings, that is the measure of success for me.